They call themselves AC27. What a bunch of ACA holes. <laughs> How many layers, Sadie? 
So, ACA 27, you're about to graduate. Now, it might seem like a big scary world out there, but I know with the friends that you made along the way, I'm sure you can make it. After all, how bad could it be? You finished the program at VFS. Take care of you. got a friend in me. Hola, my name is Angela Rodriguez, and my project is an ode to my childhood on the road in Colombia. It feels like I spent years on the road crossing the country to visit my family, and so It Runs in the Family is just that, the story of Oscar and Eliana, a father and daughter who crossed the country to visit their estranged grandfather who abandoned them decades prior. During the journey, Oscar reflects on the memories he has of his father, as he realizes the nuances of parenting and how family is a choice that you have to make every day. I hope you enjoy my project, which wouldn't have been possible without the help of Ted, Daniela, Adam, and Joel, and my wonderful friends from ACA 27. Thank you. Hello, my name is Cheyenne. I'm graduating from ACA 27, and my project is called Blood. Uh, it consists of concept art for a 3D video game that uh, consists of characters, environments, and props that I designed. Uh, so the story is about a blacksmith who one day when they're out exploring in the woods near their house, they find a ruined temple. Uh, it seems that there was some sort of cult activity that went on here, as well as signs of some sort of conflict going on. Uh, so the character's left with a choice to either walk away and pretend that they never saw anything, or to go investigate further and hopefully not lose their sanity to the cult as they investigate. Uh, I hope you enjoy! Hi, my name is Zion Nguyen. I will be showcasing my, my 3D indie horror game called The Void. Enjoy. During the Cold War between US and Russia, astronaut Unit 3 gets hit by a mysterious meteor while on a lunar mission, causing him to lose his memories and fall into a coma for a year. He finds an old spaceship and learns a creepy secret about a previous astronaut's meeting with an alien creature Unit, Unit 3 must overcome space challenges and fight the alien to gain his lost memories 
and go back to Earth. That's it. Hey, my name is Daniel Gabira, and this is my final project. In the distant future, we follow the adventurers of a lone explorer as he ventures into the uncharted reaches of the galaxy. Along his journey, we get to see the beauty, mystery, and loneliness of being an explorer in the distant future. I welcome you to Starlight's Edge. Hello, my name is Ami Kim, and my project is titled Where the Sword Leads, which is a storybook about Kuvit and his child soldier gang going on an adventure to find a new king who lives near a magical tree, away from the empire they're supposed to serve. Of course, the empire does not like that, so they hire another group of child soldiers, Yeulon and her group, who go after them to kill them, um, <clears throat> anyways. Will Kuvet and his group prevail against Yolan and her group to reach for the new king he's been yearning to search for? Tune in to find out more.
Greetings, my name is Marcelo and my project is called Vial. The story is about Dalina, a lonely witch who one day makes a contract with a soul-devouring entity called Oblivion. The deal is simple, sacrifice souls in exchange for magical upgrades. And so, the nightmare begins. Hello, my name is Dawson Clute, I'm from ACA 27, and my final project is titled Salem's Sword, and it follows two sisters, Regina and Joe, who live in a world where magic comes from passed down family heirlooms. They soon discover that a long lost heirloom of their house is missing, so they must put aside their differences and go out and find this long lost heirloom and bring it back safely. I focused on character design and prop design throughout my project. Quick thank you to all my teachers, family, and friends throughout the year, as well as a special shout out to my own sister, who has always been a very big inspiration to me. And this is my project. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rain Plant, and as you may expect, I am a graduate from VFS. Uh, my project is called Quartz 82, and I will be showing you a storyboard animatic, um, although I have also done the character, prop, and environment designs. However, I unfortunately don't have the time to show you those right now. Uh, in summary, my project is about a camp counselor who is the lone survivor of a tragic event a la Friday the 13th or other slashers. Uh, however, instead of choosing to move on, he stays behind to look after and care for the spirits of the dead children who were murdered at the site. With themes of grief and nostalgia being my main focus, I hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is Andrea and my project is Mango. Mango is about a little girl called Valentina and her friend Axel who are going on a new adventure to explore fruit flavors. The goal of this project is creating a children's illustrated book so you're going to see a little bit of character, creature, props and environments and for everyone involved in this project, teachers, classmates, staff, all my loved ones, I want to say thank you very much and I hope you enjoy. Bye! Hello there, my name is Kristen Bauza and I am here to tell you about my final project, Cleanse. This story takes place in a Japan impacted by the Industrial Revolution. After an industrial accident kills her mother, 19-year-old Hana Kurosawa's grief leads her on a dark path. Wanting vengeance, she strikes a deal with a snake demon who, in exchange for using her as a vessel, teaches her the way of the samurai. With this, Hana becomes a warrior called the Purifier aiming to take back Japan's purity from the evils of the industry forever. I'd like, to take, I'd like to thank my family, friends, and everyone else who supported me during this project. Hope you enjoy. Hi, my name's Sierra Petrovic. I'd like to thank all my friends and family for all the support they've given me. My story is called The Lost Star. It's about a baby star that falls down to earth. Meeting new friends, he journeys home to reunite with his mama moon. Thank you, I hope you enjoy. Uh, hi, my name is Nora. 
Uh, what you're about to see is the concept work that I've developed for my project called Late Harvest, uh, about a young girl and her dad living in a fishing village um, where she stumbles across a beautiful garden that unknowingly has been fertilized by the people of her town, um, by the witch Freya. Uh, you will see all of this, character designs, the environment um, that I've spent the last couple months working on. Uh, I really enjoyed this project and I hope you will as well. Hello, my name is Sadie Thompson, and for my final project, I did the concept for a graphic novel called The Dance of the Sun and Moon. It is set in a land where societal roles are determined by one's magical ability. Two princesses from enemy nations decide to travel across their countries to uncover why only they have access to all types of magic. In doing so, they discover corruption lies deep in the roots of their empires. It's up to them and their newfound friends to save the world, even if that means they have to destroy their own kingdoms. I want to thank all my teachers who helped me this year, especially Ted and Daniela. I want to thank my family and my wonderful friends in ACA 27. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine, aka The Class Rat. I'd like to introduce my project, Vagari. It is a wonderful story about a young, curious rat named Callum and his new adventure partner, Ace, who set out together on a... <coughs> one... Uh, he hello? Um, cut, cut, just... Oh god, cut to the rat. Uh, sorry about that. Um... Where was I? Oh, geez. Yes, um, my wonderful project about Callum and Ace and their wonderful adventures through this mysterious land that they want to discover and... and what?
The story is about a bounty hunter who lost everything because of a nuclear war and a, a lot of re radiation mutation monsters. But somehow, he accidentally saved a little girl and he opened his closed heart again. And on another side, the boss of an underground gang need to capture the little girl in exchange for the safety of his men. And then conflict begins. Like soldiers at war, time keeps churning like an ocean storm. A fading voice calls out in the night. I scream in reply to carry the fight. I will never forget you. Your face on my mind as I march alone down this road. I endure the rain and soar toward the light. Hi, my name is Jordan Browers. My personal project is called Obscuration. It consists of concept art created for a 3D video game, which is based off of a young girl who gets pulled into a new dimension where she faces many dangers. One of these includes the organist, a creature who dwells in his cathedral playing his instrument. Once disturbed, he will dismember you and add you as part of his instrument. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hello, my name is Julia from ACA 27. I'd like to thank my friends and family who've been uh, supporting me throughout this whole year, as well as the teachers who've had to suffer through the great hacking incident of uh, 2022. My end of term project is uh, called Terms and Human Conditions, which is essentially a demon who, because he didn't read the fine print of a contract he signed, um, becomes an uh, unwilling parent of a young human girl. Um, because of his checkered past, a lot of his enemies sense this, you know, moment of weakness and uh, takes it a chance to uh, get revenge on him. So um, I did character design, I did some creature design, prop design, and as well as some key arts. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.
Hi, my name is Faith Lesher, and I'm here to tell you about my project, Curses and Contracts. Elliot is a cursed teenager who asked for the help of Juno, an unlucky witch, and Celias, the ghost child who is unfortunately bound to her. They team up to steal the demon's book, promise to break Elliot's cur curse, uh, fix Juno's luck, and free Celias from this mortal realm. But of course, Jordrine the demon discovers them because they're not that dumb. <laughs> dumb. But they don't kill them at first. They want to see, see them try. So they make a deal, a contract, if you will, to play for the book. And I hope you enjoy. My potions work just fine. Half the time. You wish to know how I died? You ready for that information? <laughs> just kidding. I don't remember. The curse was not my fault. I just didn't realize when they said pay for it. It was with my soul. You think a simple human could outwit me? <laughs> that was foolish. But perhaps I'll give you a chance to live. All you have to do is play my game. My name is Yin Xiang from Class AC 27. My final project is called Astra. The main focus is on concept art and character design. The concept art decided to be adapted into a visual novel game. The story is about a girl who has just moved into a strange new city hoping to find a fresh start. She moves into a new apartment with an even stranger roommate. However, as she explored the city, it revealed that supernatural and mystery entities reside in the city. Once beyond her understanding, as she sets out to find and learn about the entities, someone unknown sets out to destroy them, and they may be closer than you think. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone, my name is Charlotte Burton-Smith. My project follows the story of Cal, a mischievous girl who one day steals a compass from a traveling caravan. Unknown to her, the compass is tethered to Friedrich, a young ghost clown. Wherever she goes, chaos follows as the young ghost lacks control of its abilities. To lift the curse she believes has been placed on her, Cal must journey to return the compass to the caravan, which she will soon realize has just left town. Thank you. I hope you enjoy Cursed.
Hi everyone, my name is Bean, and I created a short animated film called Everything But a Kitchen Sink, which is about a little girl named Nanako who has been hurt. Her mom is brought to the attention that her daughter has been hurt and finds it's a perfect time for her mother to teach her a valuable life lesson, which takes the phrase, you must digest your pain fully in order to heal quite literally. Although the lesson does go well, it might be quite interesting for other people to see that approach. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoy the watch. Thank you. 